welcome back to the channel welcome back to another vlog i will talk about the products that i have listed um maybe in a different segment and then i will also show you guys the new products that i'm working on um in another segment but in this particular segment the reason why i wanted to start it this vlog was because i know we're coming up to the holiday season the holiday is all about giving and i have had this idea and i've been kind of brainstorming it for the past week or so um just trying to figure out how i want to go about doing it but i thought you know who better to ask than the internet and so um the premise of this section of the vlog is really to just get my idea out there talk about it and get your opinions if anybody sees this video as to what i should do so i crocheted and i've learned how to crochet because it looked fun my mom crocheted when i was younger i thought you know why not pick up a new hobby it's fun um so i love crocheting now i really enjoy it i love making turtles turtles are my favorite thing i've made bigger turtles i don't have them with me right now but i've made bigger turtles and um i've made octopi here's a little baby octopi and so with all of these things that i've been crocheting the bummer bummer of it all is that i can't keep it all um i there's just no room for me to house all of them and so i do want to not necessarily give them away because the yarn is very expensive but i would like to list them in the shop for sale however i don't just want to sell these items um well there's two different routes that i'm going with these crochet things so hear me out so the first route that I was going is um, more so reading buddies because the jumbo turtles that I crochet, I love using them when I'm reading on my bed. It's just the perfect size to kind of prop myself because I read while I'm on my stomach on my bed. And so it's just the perfect size for me to kind of have in my arms while I'm reading and it makes it really comfortable because it gives me something to rest my head on if not I'm kind of like resting my head on my hand and then my hand gets sore and so I'm reading in really odd angles but the turtle does a really good job of you know keeping the head up and so I was thinking you know these could be reading buddies reading scented buddies and i had been wanting to start a candle slash wax melt line inspired by the men in the books that i read but that hasn't come to work out the way i wanted it to and you know i'm still working on it but in the meantime i could make these reading scent buddies and so the turtles would smell like these men in the books I like that idea I think it's fun <laughs> I don't know so there's that first idea out there um, the second idea that I had with these uh, turtles and the octopi and the things that I'm crocheting and learning how to crochet is uh, my sister and I have stumbled upon this company and I will figure out the company and I will list it down here or show the bracelets whatever it may be um, but they when you buy a bracelet like a portion i think it's like a portion of the proceeds go to um, this organization it's a nonprofit that helps to clean up the ocean or yeah something like that it's along those lines of cleaning up the ocean protecting the marine life and not only that you get a code to track you know one of the animals and see where their migration pattern is what they where they are and um i just thought that was the coolest thing and that's really what something that i wanted to do with these little things that i'm crocheting um you know so what i'm thinking about doing is i'm thinking about setting up little you know crocheting maybe three to five three to five different turtles whales sharks blah 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 whatever it may be um, all inspired by different animals or different the names of different whales turtles whatever it may be that i find so for example uh, one of the organizations that i my sister had found actually i think it's on maui and you know there there's turtles that you could adopt and so the thought process is you know we'll go ahead we'll find one turtle that we want to adopt and you know proceeds from the sale of the turtle that the coat the color scheme of the turtle 
will go to the tur that to to adopt that turtle, and um, we could vote on giving it a name, or no, vote on like you know what who it goes under, or I don't know. Does this make sense? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, because um, I've just been trying to figure out how to do this. So, for example, let's say this dark purple and this lighter purple, right? Um, it's we're gonna use this, and we're gonna say, if you buy this turtle, not this turtle specifically, a bigger version of this turtle, but this color wave, you know, X amount of money will go towards adopting. Oreo. So like Oreo is the turtle that's in that nonprofit on Maui, Hawaii. This turtle is named Oreo and five dollars from the sale of this turtle will go towards you know the adoption of Oreo at that nonprofit. And so we get to adopt a turtle. Like collectively all of us get to adopt a turtle in on Maui and we're helping with the care making sure that that nonprofit has you know the supplies and items they need to take care of these turtles and not only that i would want to share with you guys like monthly updates as to how the turtle is doing you know what's going on with the turtle what's going on with the nonprofit there i don't know is that like an insane idea it could be but that's just something that i'm throwing out there so I would love to know your thoughts and opinions. I will learn how to crochet more things. But that's just something I'm throwing out there for now. Um, so yeah. Anyhow. Let me know your thoughts. <laughs> and I am going to be starting on um, a couple of orders that came in over the weekend. And then we're going to get on with the rest of this studio vlog. Oh my gosh. Sorry. That was not a great explanation. <laughs> So tonight I finished doing two of the Night Triumphant tumblers, glass tumblers. Um, these aren't going to stay in the shop just because it's hard to make them get them consistent enough. But um, these ones came out really great. So there's that. And then I also started on the Night Triumphant regular glass acrylic or not acrylic. Um, the regular glass tumbler with the permanent vinyl so it's just missing the decor that goes here um, but I have them cut out so tomorrow I will weed them and get that one done I'm hoping that my stainless steel depot order comes in just because um, that's mainly the main thing that I'm waiting on from in order to complete this order. Uh, and that's where I get my glasses. But the, also the reason why I'm discontinuing these particular ones um, with the glitter in them is just because this glass that I buy, it's actually on closeout from the store stainless steel depot so i'm glad that i took a look because um yeah it was just so slow so that's not gonna come in till november 1st and i need to get this out before then so i'm actually gonna use one of my reserves that i have i keep about one to two cups of each style that i um, show online or display in my shop I tend to keep at least one to two cups as an emergency reserve so I'm gonna dip into the emergency reserve so I can get the order completed on time and then yeah so tonight it was just mainly getting these done because they are so time-consuming um, but I love how they come out they're just so pretty um, but yeah uh, I'm gonna give these time to dry overnight 
so hopefully tomorrow they should be good to go and then i can get that whole order put together and out the door uh without any issues Okay, so this is a design that I created right before I left for vacation. I don't know how well it's going to show because it is holographic, um, the vinyl is, but it's Valera City of Lights. And so I really love how this came out. My only concern is that this decal here, it is so detailed and it has so many small little intricate circles. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Um, but there's just so many small little cut out vinyl circles that I'm so worried that it's going to fall off very easily. I don't know if it's showing. Um, but yeah, I'm just worried that these little dots, I'm going to keep trying to show it to you. Um, but these little dots right here, I'm so worried that, you know, they're going to fall off the more you wash the cup and everything. But I just love the way this looks i really just love the way this hollow vinyl looks on the glass and it's just so subtle which is what i like about it and it just looks like a really cute design if you don't see the back if you don't see valer city of lights you just see this it's just a cute deck um you know vinyl decoration so i might do that and i just might keep this listed and then um I did come up with a design for Crescent City that I really, really like. And so I might do that in a cup too. And then I just have those two designs. I think I'm going to take the rest down um, because it's just so tough to weed those particular designs. So that's kind of the thought process going into that and what I'm going to do with the regular glass cans that I have because um, I did order some more of them. They came today. so yeah anyhow i'm gonna finish up doing the bookmarks i'm gonna go to bed we're gonna go to work wake up at four o'clock tomorrow morning and do the whole thing all over again i'm gonna come home and i'm gonna work on orders so yeah hey guys happy friday friday so i am at home and today is my day off and i am tired but um, I'm going to be working on fulfilling one order today. I went ahead and sent out, I think, five or six orders on Thursday, yesterday, yesterday morning. So I'm hoping that those will get to the buyers um, in time because Rebecca Yaros' next book is coming out soon. So I hope they get that in time for the book. And then I am planning on restocking it on my etsy shop um it's crazy because i did restock like five or six of them and they sold out in the same day so that was insane but i'm glad people like it and then i will also i wanted to upload another one um i created another book mark um based off of the silver one um quote that Taryn says and so I want to upload that too I don't think I have it available um on the web on my Etsy shop yet and then I wanted to go out to pick up some stuff to start working on decorations for Christmas I almost said Halloween um for Christmas but I don't want to spend money right now um just because I money is a little tight because I have a spending problem. So I want to, you know, make sure I have enough money saved for um, Christmas presents, but also the bills that are coming in. And I really want to buy, so my friend um, sells Etsy, or not Etsy, oh my gosh. My friend sells Scentsy products. And I really, really want to buy, oh no, there's a wait to get in on this shop. Ugh. So there's this new Etsy or Scentsy um, wax melter that I really want to buy. Uh, but again, I don't want to spend the money because it's we're getting up to Christmas and around 
actually around October I like to start saving money for Christmas presents but I didn't do that this year because we went to Disney and so I did not do that um, but yeah so hopefully I can feel the coffee kicking in now it's really nice um, so hopefully I can start saving money and start planning out Christmas presents especially for my office and getting that done and completed and out of the way and then I can focus on getting family stuff I don't know what anybody in my family wants so that's going to be a problem not only that though I also want to start saving up for a laser cutter um so there's this laser cutter that um one of the people that I one of the shops that I follow um she uses and she did a deal with and actually two um of them did and so her shop is some little things and i love her whole um her entire so i don't know if you'll see it but this is her shop oh hold on let me change the battery first before we get more into this Alrighty, so where i was where we left off i was showing you guys that there is this shop um she does some her shop name is some little things and she comes up with the cutest things and so where's the best like her art is so cute sorry i have a phone screen that i have to do soon so this laser cutter that she has it's really small which i really like and so i want it <laughs> i want it because i think that what i want to create the next steps for the shop it's a laser cutter it's not any other type of thing any other it's not an embroidery machine or anything it is a laser cutter so i really want that and i want to save up for it i think it's like a thousand dollars when i looked it up so i want to start saving for that with the goal of being able to afford it um either sometime in q2 next year so um that's the ultimate goal i'll need to break it down but yeah that's kind of it um the other thing that i wanted to do today was i didn't want to run to ikea i did i had a bunch of errands that i wanted to do but um i don't know if i want to do that um i don't want to spend my whole day out of the house i want to enjoy being home especially during this cold weather uh so one of the things that I wanted to get done at least this weekend was I wanted to go to Ikea to pick up another one of these tabletops. I do have one, but it's a smaller one and I want one of these bigger ones. Um, reason being is if I get the, oh my gosh, what is it called? If I get the laser cutter, I want to make sure there's enough room for it. But not only that, I want to turn this area now into my sewing area. I've come to the conclusion that I think I am done with resin period i just hate how finicky it is i hate how um you know some of it turns out well some of it doesn't and it's just i think the weather changes and the weather temps here in vegas are at least in my house are a little too inconsistent um for it because this room gets extremely extremely hot during the summer and we don't know i mean we know why because one of the vents up there it just doesn't open all the way so the sun comes in this room gets extremely hot during the summer like almost unbearably hot and when i have resin products curing i know that affects the resin as well so i'm pretty much i'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm done with resin. It is what it is. I enjoyed it while I had it, but I am moving on. And so I want this to become when I eventually save up for the laser cutter, the laser cutting table, but also my sewing stuff. Um, because I do want to get back to sewing scrunchies and headbands. And when we were cleaning out our loft area, I realized I had a ton. So I wanted to do that, but also wanted to finish organizing a bunch of the things that we didn't get to organize last week before my family came over. Um, there are some items that we kind of, in my little cube thing um, there, there are some items that I kind of just tossed in there that we kind of just left in there. So I want to finish doing that. I have pictures that I want to frame and hang up. I have my Disney coins and Disney medallions that I want to put in their casing and put up somewhere 
Um, so there's a lot of things that I want to get done today, but we will get to it. And then not only that, I wanted to take some time to do more research for the crocheting shop turtle idea that I had and talking to my colleagues about it they said they thought it was a great idea because not only that you can benefit a nonprofit. and then I as I was driving home yesterday I just kind of had a bunch of ideas that could all stem from you know with the idea of giving back and I think at the end of the day you know that's all I want to do I want to be able to just give back as much as I can um and yeah I've always had that problem and I don't have enough money to do so so I thought this would be a great opportunity and so I want to hash that idea out a little bit better get it going and at least start planning it and making sure that it's good it's solid um, and that it makes sense so I want to spend some time doing that and also thinking about my 2024 goals I can't believe we're going into 2024 um so personal goals that i want and things i want to accomplish and yeah so that's about it i'm actually gonna wrap this vlog up now um just because i think tomorrow i'm not gonna be doing a lot i have to meet for me and my cousins they're coming into town and then um we're gonna most likely be celebrating my sister's birthday so i mean i don't know but um Regardless, I wanted to wrap this up and say thank you so much for watching this studio vlog. I hope it can be a consistent thing. I'm going to aim for it to be a consistent thing. And yeah, but if you want to follow me and keep up with everything that's going on, the best place to do that is TikTok, honestly. <laughs> so um, all of my social though will be linked down below or you could, I don't know, I really don't. Um, <laughs> You can find me on TikTok at JT underscore creates and yeah. Anyhow, I hope you guys have a magical night or day wherever you are and I will see you in the next video.